Hi, welcome to this part 16. We are looking at AWS Solution Architect Professional Real Certification Questions. See, you can refer this playlist. It has so many parts. Okay, that will help you with clearing this certification. Now, also there is a playlist which is called this AWS Certification Thumb Rules. There are so many thumb rules mentioned here. It will help you with the certification. In this part, we will look at questions around these three topics like Elastic Cache, DynamoDB projections, and Cloud Formation resource names. So, needless to say, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like my videos and contents, you want to make a donation. There is a thanks icon below the video. You can feel free to donate, though there is no obligation. See, let's look at this question. So this is asking which cache engines are supported by Elastic Cache. So in part 15, we looked at there are two engines, Redis and Memcache. The Elastic Cache, where do we plug in between the database and the application so that the reads become faster? See, if you want to create a cache that is in memory data store, so we will use Memcache for that. So please read this highlighted statement. It provides high performance, scalable. So if cache can hold, say, 1000 records today and one day, 10,000 record comes, it can still hold it. It will scale up and it is a managed service. So you don't have to worry about, you know, provide provisioning kind of stuff. Like how much capacity should I provision? Should I put it for 1000 records, 10,000 records, 1 million records? You don't have to worry about it. And it is a very cost effective caching solution. The moment you, they will see the number of records cached are very less, it will scale down and it is very high performant that means if there are 1 million records in the cache to scan through those 1 million and identify 1000 records it will not take time so you can pause this piece and read this section that will help you understand the concepts better so we saw memcache now let us look at redis now this is also an in memory data store okay and it is very good for real time applications where you want sub millisecond latency see use redis if you don't want high performance you want extreme performance very good for real time like interaction with iot devices data coming in real time or data coming in from Facebook and other applications where real-time analysis of sentiments is required. There you use it. It is highly available and reliable. It is easily scalable. So nowadays, it is always better to use Redis over Memcache. Okay. So you see this internet scale applications. You have gaming applications, very good for gaming applications or social media okay and dating sites like tinder and so on and elastic cash is put here so for example you consider this dating app like tinder a lot of you may already have an account here uh, so suppose you set your profile and you set your preference and then uh, you do left swipe right swipe i'm not sure uh, i think right swipe means you like someone and left swipe means give it a pass you don't like them so that all data you know it's all real time happening so elastic cache uh, redis will be very useful here to to cache everything that you are doing so that you get the utmost performance instead of curing the database it will take the data from cache and you will not see any latency everything will be low latency Low latency means high performance. High latency means low performance. So irrespective of Elastic Cache, Memcache, etc. Tinder, don't waste your time there. For Indian boys, there is no success there. Indian boys, please contribute to your country's success. Don't waste your time on these sites. 
so consider this analogy if rithik roshan in india he is the superstar if he can be divorced you stand no chance so contribute to your corporate company success your country's success now coming back here the answer would be this one memcast and redis so this is the final answer now let us look at this question it's talking about a projection in dynamo db what is a projection if you see this documentation like these are attributes that are copied from table into an index so for example let me make it very clear if you were working on sql server db2 oracle any rdbms in the olden times golden times old times gold times you already know that if you create a primary key then what will happen indexes will be automatically created on those primary keys pks means primary keys for example employee code if you have a employee database employee code is your primary key indexes will be automatically created but what about if you want to fire reports which sees okay from which state how many employees work in which state you will need an index on the state which you don't have it and state is a non primary key so what will you do you will create an index on non key attributes which is projection so this is the answer so he said the attributes that is copied from a table into a secondary index it is like just like you are creating an index on a non attribute non key attribute so if you have a table this way and employee code you see this employee code this is a primary key and these are not primary keys so you want to filter on state so you want to create an index on state okay for the state for the guy obama clinton is new york so i hope this is clear now let us look at the next question so what is accurate in the context of aws cloud formation out of these what is clear so they are actually questioning about resource names like what is the naming convention i think so that is how they are saying so if you see d is correct because when you create a resource like when you put a actual resource name it's a combination of the stack and logical resource name so resource name is just not a stack resource name it is just not a logical resource name it's a combination of stack and logical resource name here it says it's a combination of resource id stack and logical resource name no it's a combination of stack and logical resource name when you give it and probably resource id is created in the background automatically so this is my answer so let us look at this in cloud formation what is a circular dependency so this mostly seems common sense so circular means round so it's like a loop so this should be the answer it is a when resources form a uh, depend on loop so if you see this documentation it explains either a is dependent on b and b is dependent on a or a is dependent on itself a is dependent on a itself it can be either ways okay and uh, it gives like there is a documentation here it says how to handle circular dependency errors because it might give you errors in between so it's kind of loops is something which you should usually avoid as a best practice so this is my final answer now please hit subscribe and the like button i would keep posting similar contents this brings us to the end of this part we looked at questions around these topics do not forget to watch the whole playlist also there is a playlist on thumb rules please refer that as well see you in the next part